Welcome back. <laughs> Here's Murray's back. Oh, thanks. Hey, I guess y'all got to see my backside. Welcome back. All right, these fig Newtons have been burning for 30 minutes. We're going to turn the fire off of them. You want to show them what it looks like? Yep. Just leave the spoon in there. I'm going to see if you can okay. go back here and see if you can. If it shows up. Yeah. That's what they look they like. They hot and steam. Now I'm fixing to ladle them into a blender. It says to just pulse them in a blender. And I'm going to ladle them in there because I do not want to pour. Because you don't want to scald yourself? Yeah, pretty much. I don't want to make a big mess either. Well, you're going to do that because do you are this a way. messy messer. Once I get a few of them in there, because we're going to put them back in this pond, I don't want to make them. you got to talk to the camera. I don't want to make a mess. I don't even know if they can see us over here. Can y'all see us over here? No. Huh? Now they can. Now let me get this going real quick. Are you needing me for anything at the moment? I think you got too many in there, baby. Give me a pot, please. I might have to separate these. So, don't hang in there tight, folks. And then I'm just going to wipe this down. I know, I'll put them in with that bunch there. Put them in our trusty little ninja blender. So you're just going to pulse them, it says? Yep, just pulse. Get guess... ready for loud, people. Like, how many times? I guess it's got all them lemons and figs are kind of... It's sticky behind that, I know that. Ugh. We're gonna pull them back in the pot because they gotta cook down for about another five minutes or so just to get them to the right consistency. God, be silent. Y'all almost heard me cuss, I'm telling you. Here. I almost I said a dirty word. Nothing like live TV. Oh man, this is hot. What the what? You're gonna need to put that back on. I'm here. gonna need to put it back on something. How did I get sticky on me? Huh? I haven't even touched anything. Jeez, this is a messy mess, people. All right. Go add this second little batch back in here. Kind of like the Keystone Cooks, the Keystone Cop. Lord. It's kind of like the Keystone Cooks. Yum, 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 here, buddy. Where am I? Hey, Linda. Alright. Here we go. I just got to my hands on. Alrighty. And we're 
done with this, right? Yes, ma'am. Maybe you just pull that thing out of there. Why don't you just pull that thing out of there and just throw it in the sink? So he pulsed all of those enough to break everything up, break up the lemon peels. We're going to put it back on the stove hey. for, what was it? About five minutes. And I don't know how long much longer, but it's going to thicken up pretty good. And to me, I'm, like I say, I've never made them. Mom always had it kind of like cold figs and hers. This is kind of more like jam to me than it is preserves, but it's going to be good. Every way. It all going to taste about the same. And uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, Got your lids back here. Got my see. lids. They're uh, boiling. For my jars, just got my lids in here, just heating them up just a little bit, just to get that uh, rubber seal warm. And um, we're gonna jar these things up, seal them up, and then they have to go back in the hot water bath for 10 minutes. Once you get this, the the lids and um, the the and the rings on there, put them back in the hot water bath. And boil them for 10 minutes and uh, then they'd be good to go. Set them out, let them cool, they'll seal up, and and then they'll be. And it says just cook them down to the right consistency. I don't know what and the see, right I always thought preserves had like big pieces of the fruit in them. I did too. So, I mean, this is more like it says fig preserves on this recipe, but I tell you what. I we, think we're making fig jelly. I think we're making. Yes. Ouch, that's hot. I think we're gonna taste this. Hey Teresa, hey Valerie, hey Caleb. And just see how they taste. And then we can really just let everybody know because it, it, Y'all don't want to sit here and watch this pouring things up in the jar. It's and, not very exciting. But we're going to taste get, what we've made. Get your big old, get your big old. Now, get that's your, plenty. I'm not getting a big old nut. This is what I'm tasting. think about that? I think. What do you think about that? I think it's pretty good. I think I've been made to look like a big baby because this is really good and I feel like the lemon is what makes it good. Wow. That's delicious. That would be so good on a biscuit. Yo, you, what was you, well, rewind the tape. Rewind the tape. That just gonna ruin a good biscuit. I think it's ready. I think you're ready. <laughs> and I think... Uh, I think that was probably worth it, to be honest with you. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying that. So, folks, there you have it. Brown turkey fig, preserves, jelly, jam, whatever you want to call them. It it's is good. what it is. They're going to be good. And uh, if you're lucky enough, we may give away a jar of fig preserves next week to a lucky viewer. Yes. How about that? How about it? And uh, I'm gonna pack them up all nice and secure and ship them out to you. So uh, hang in for next week, next Thursday night. Next Thursday night, I'll be doing an invite or an event here soon. We're gonna do Homemade apple pie. It's time to get back to America. That's right.
And ain't nothing more American than homemade apple pie. Yay for apple pie. Well, we might have a little milk ice cream we go on top of it. We might. You can. I oh. like vanilla ice cream on it, but I'm trying to not. Well, we could. I could have a churn of homemade vanilla ice cream go with Oh, Lord. I will never get past my go away here with that. But uh, anyway, we're Thanks. fixing to jar up some jelly. Yeah. Y'all have a rest of a great weekend. Have a good Saturday. Have a wonderful Sunday. Go out and worship the Lord tomorrow. If uh, nothing else, say a prayer. Yeah. Uh, that would a be a good thing. prayer for this country. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, now that you say that, I just feel like that there's a lot of people out there that don't pray, that don't believe in God, that don't. And, and you know what? That's, that's your business. But how's that working out for you with this country right now? So. It's not working out too good, I don't think. And I think that maybe if we all just just try it one time, that's all you got to do. Just try one time praying to God to, to help this country find its way back. I don't think it would. It's If you don't believe, it's certainly not going to hurt you. And who knows what could happen from it. Just, sure. give, it, just give it a chance. Because I'm telling you, this country's in bad shape. Not just this country, but everybody. I mean, I've never been so divided from so many friends and family over, over all this foolishness. And it's just, you know, but, whatever you believe is what you believe, and that's fine. But you can't be mean to your family and your friends. You cannot. So that's all we're going to say about that, because this is about having fun and forgetting about all that for a while. Yeah. So this is just us. Being us. And we love you. And don't you forget it. And the words of my mama, Jane Castle is cleansed by skin Y'all be somebody. So, catch us. Thursday, 7.30, On homemade apple pie. Homemade apple pie. See you. We're going to get this bottled up and maybe a lucky viewer will get to uh, uh, win some. a winner. All right, so, y'all. See you later.